welcome to its topic in this video i am going to discuss the questions whatever came in yesterday's exam and almost all of you have done pretty well in your examination for that uh, i am very happy that i can help you some way now uh, most of the student told me that uh, for html they are asked to create a table and create two link web pages in some school like uh, create one question page and create one answer page and link between them and some schools insert one tiger image and link uh, in next page some uh, few tiger information so in html mainly these two questions are asked and in javascript some school asks to display first 10 natural numbers some school this asks to display the multiplication table of any number some school are given like uh, you have to display the multiplication table from 15 to 50 or some like that uh, range was given and in some schools to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius and and in some to find uh, input five numbers and find their average so most of the program I have already discussed only that Fahrenheit to Celsius that program I have not discussed so I will show this one how to do it and from MySQL they are asked to create you just a database and and uh, create a table and enter some record inside it so this much the practical work and I hope I think uh, the H HSLC practical question paper is totally depend on the school where the exam held whatever the examiner or whatever the teacher think they can ask to give like that question only and for oral some student uh, wrote in comment section that they are asked like what is uh, css different types of css this is directly from class 9 book and even they are asked write the difference between excel and powerpoint this is also from class 9 book only i don't know why they are asking class 9 oral questions when class 10 practical chapters have enough short questions they can ask that also and some are asking full form of html or who develop html that are that are pretty easy you should know the tim berners lee develop html and <clears throat> somewhere asked uh, even some outside questions some basic general knowledge questions and i think this is just for they are doing time pass and at last they will give some random number to everyone even to them to some student they didn't ask anything so don't worry about uh, practical you will get uh, from i have already said 13 to 20 you will get some marks whoever did something they will get good mark and who are not doing anything just uh, setting uh, idle and even not answer the oral question they will get 12 13 14 like that mark now i am going to show you this question convert fahrenheit to celsius how to do it other question we have already done so i am not going to explain it again so this program i have already done i am going to show you from there only this is the code body html body then script part after that i am taking two variable f and c f for fahrenheit and c for celsius then i am writing f equal prompt enter temperature in fahrenheit after that c equal f minus 32 into 5 by 9 this is the formula to convert uh, temperature from fahrenheit to celsius so this one now after that we have to show the result for the document dot write f plus equal c degree celsius when we will open the file in browser the output will be like that we have to allow the block content suppose i am entering fahrenheit as a uh, 120 degree so it will be in converted to 48 degree celsius now when you go to any shopping mall or even some of schools when before entering to the schools or shopping malls or somewhere your temperature is measured 
and most of the temp that devices measurement devices are calculated in fahrenheit and you will get uh, your body temperature like 94 95 like that so suppose you are getting 95 so what will be the temperature in converted celsius you just write 95 here click ok so if your body temperature is 95 in fahrenheit then in our normal unit in celsius it will be 35 degree which is normal for a human being i hope you have understood this program and uh, in from next video i am going to again revise you all the chapters from 1 to 12 one by one and we'll discuss mainly the inside questions i am going to not follow any question bank nothing just we'll discuss uh, some small small questions like full forms and all and some inside two marks questions if you study that much then i think uh, your exam will be pretty well and who want to score directly 100 they will not depend on any practical or uh, any important and all they will study everything and who want to just a good mark pass with a good mark like 90 80 they can follow these questions so i am not saying that whatever question i am giving that will come 100 percent so this might come because i have experience in computer science from 2013 i am teaching computer science from 2013 so i have some idea about these questions but again i i am not saying that whatever question i am giving that question only come because i am not in the committee member of question paper who are making question paper for hslc examination i hope you understand uh, understand this so thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye